can't speed too much with the heavy cargo. Of course there's a car behind me. Probably going to beep and toot their horn multiple times. I'm just under that. Ooh. Now the force feedback on the G29 wheel is very interesting. It makes things realistic, but sometimes it can be a little too much. Force feedback can be a little bit too much. But you can quickly solve that and um, decrease the strength of it in the options. I know that car behind me wants to pass me, but there is no passing lane. Well, legally you can't pass on a double yellow. Ooh, gotta slow down. on my phone. Oh, going up this hill. traffic coming so I can't <laughs> take up both lanes. The person behind me can pass me now. It's dotted yellow. I don't know why they don't want to pass unless they already turned. Didn't think there will be much traffic here. Well, it's not a lot of traffic, it's minimal, but, you know. Oh, was that a shooting star? A meteorite? That was weird. Maybe that was lightning. Who knows. But this traffic mod, I really like the realistic weather, like I've said before, it's cool. It's really cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going too fast with this cargo. Let me check, do I have any damage? Of course, 2% damage on the truck. Thankfully, these are still company wheels, so. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I did too much on those curves. Wow. That force feedback is like, look, this cargo's too heavy for you to be doing all that. Wow. I think my truck almost tipped over. That has happened to me before. When I was doing heavy cargo um, in uh, ETS, my car, I was taking off, I was speeding too much and um, I was speeding way too much and I was making a turn and my car and my truck tipped over. It was my fault because I was speeding. You're not supposed to speed with heavy cargo, obviously. 
Ooh, helicopter. Cool. So yeah, that was something that you just don't do. <laughs> Definitely. That's 55. Less than nine hours left on this trip. Gotta be careful, even though if it's a straight road, these hillies up and down can really mess you up if you're not careful. I'm using, I'm currently using the Twitch desktop app, but I can't see like who, if there, if there are any viewers, who they are. I would like to say hi when they come in, but... <laughs> I put the um, internet tab away so I could use that. So like 6.59. Another one of these curves I should be slowing down at. Gotta be careful. careful with these curves man I can feel my truck <laughs> wanting to tip over and that's not good Should I be selfish and take up both lanes? I think it's going to go into one lane anyway. Yeah, go ahead and pass. I know you want to. About seven hours left to the destination. I'm trying to see if I can pull up the chat on my phone so I can say hi to viewers when they come in. Fortunately, I can't find the list on the official Twitch desktop app. That's unfortunate. I wish they list the, maybe they do have the list and I didn't put it up. Who knows? I'm gonna need, oh, too fast. Wow. Almost ran into the back of that Jeep. Or, was that a Jeep? Truck. No, can't get a front of me, no. Oh my gosh, and he didn't care. He just scooted in as if I wasn't coming down. Rude. That was so rude. After this, I'm definitely going to go get something to eat. I didn't realize I streamed past the normal time I stream, which is okay. I don't mind 
testing this out for viewers to see. And this was a pretty long trip. I couldn't find anything else, so... Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Oh, why are they stopping? Stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, too close. Way too close. Alright. Let me save this. Whew. And let me try to bring up... What did I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to get the... Excuse any noises. They have autoplay and I didn't want to... Wait a minute. Okay. Excuse me for a second. waiting for my twitch code okay uh, no nope. dashboard okay where is I can't find the chat I was looking for. <laughs> oh, here it is. Pop it up. Okay. Now that can go. Alrighty. Alright, that's what I needed. Alright, sorry guys. Just want to make sure. All right. Oh, I forgot to dismiss that. Oops. Sorry again. messed up my okay I'll just go back to what I was doing it's not working all right so about six hours left to my ETA already fueled up the truck and already rested so I won't have to make another stop Again, if there's any questions, you can leave me a message, let me know. I'm new to Trucking Sim 2, only a few months in. Great genre to start and have fun with. I am going above the speed limit. I won't be surprised if there's a cop come and give me a ticket. Won't be surprised at all. Looks like a fairly straight road. I'm gonna put on cruise control. Uh oh, they're stopping up here. What's going on? Uh oh, looks like there was an accident. 
Uh oh. Oh no, they're turning. Okay. Whew, I thought they had an accident. I'm like, oh no, that's something I definitely don't want to go through right now. So I have to say, after playing a couple hours with heavy hauling, it's pretty good. And, you know, no complaints here. Other than I don't like how the uh, cargo lags behind the truck, unfortunately. And it makes you have to kind of rethink your journey to your destination. Because usually with normal cargo, I stop, I try and stop at all the discoverables on the way to my destination but the thing is with um with heavy cargo that's kind of difficult because you have to haul this with you everywhere and with normal cargo it's not difficult you know in ATS heavy cargo the trailers are a lot longer so it's harder to turn, um, kind of harder to maneuver yourself around, and, you know, it's unfortunate, but I try to get as much discoverables that I think my heavy cargo will allow me to get. five hour mark feels like forever it started at what 19 hours increased to about 20 something hours because I wanted to get some discoverables all in all this trip has been going pretty good I did manage to um, pass a turn so I had to do a u-turn with heavy cargo fortunately I was in an area where I can do a U-turn without damaging the cargo because I want to recoup all the money that they're giving me <laughs> for this trip, <laughs> for this delivery. So, definitely pretty happy I haven't damaged the cargo. Damaging the truck, eh. I still work for a company. This isn't my truck yet, so the repairs will be on them. <laughs> It wasn't on accident. I, I still don't know where the 2% damage came from, so I'm not going to try and figure it out because it's been, this has been a long trip, so I'm not really trying to say, oh, well, I don't remember doing this or going there. That is A-OK. -okay. As long as the cargo doesn't have any damage, I can recoup the 30000 plus so I can be on my way to a trucking empire. See, that rest stop would not have fit this cargo at all. That's why I maneuvered my, uh-oh, up and down hillies. Wow, wow. Why don't I remember this from my other profile? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Looks like some curves are coming, some sharp curves. So I gotta be careful I don't tip my truck over. Careful, careful, careful. on this front and we're in city limits so the speed limit went down okay see this car wouldn't have been able to fit in that um tight space there uh oh don't like this oh man this has to be more than a wide turn sorry sorry ai oh see got stuck I knew it. <laughs> oh, 
shoot. Okay, I have to go back. Try not hit that car. Stop moving. Okay. Whew. Okay, got that. I get that okay? Okay. Oh, man. Did I damage it? Oh, thankfully, no damage. Wow. That could have gone so many ways. Okay, gotta do a wide turn. Come up, then turn the wheel. Hopefully my cargo won't hit anything. Alright, cool. Alright, have to merge. If they'll let me merge, probably won't, so I'll force myself. Don't hit my cargo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> definitely don't need any damage okay so that was that could have been a lot worse than what it was I turned too soon into that curve and that's why the cargo got stuck I need to make I had to make a more wider turn fortunately the AI behind me wasn't like pushed up against me so I was able to back up a little bit go into the other lane and then make a wider turn so that's another thing you have to watch out for with the heavy cargo in American Truck Sim. It's just not going to work otherwise or else you'll get stuck at every tight corner that you see. Fortunately, I it was only the back part of the um, trailer that got stuck. So I was able to back up a little bit, pull around, and make that... Um, what is that? Oh, motorcycles! That's another cool thing about the uh, AI traffic mod that I downloaded is that you get motorcycles and other makes and brands of vehicles that you don't see in the regular game. So I would definitely recommend that mod if you're a person that likes to mod. It's the AI traffic mod by Jazzy Cat. <laughs> definitely a good mod to have. No complaints. Speeding, and I don't know where the closest cop is, so I should probably slow down. It's not raining. Why am I going to show wipers on? I forgot to turn those off. And there's a violation. I knew it. <laughs> it was coming. outside again oh that's one of the undiscoverables I wanted to do but I know it's going to be a tight squeeze for this cargo so I'm not going for it I'll have to go for it when I'm doing regular cargo I just want to show let me just put this on cruise control because I do not need another ticket all these tickets are going to stop me from getting my trucking empire. Okay. So I just put it on cruise control because I don't need any more speeding tickets. So, yeah. Alright, so we're coming up about two hours left until we reach our destination. Thankfully, I've already got my tank full and won't have to stop to rest for fatigue. So I don't have to worry about that. Looks like the cargo is doing alright back there. Just want to make sure the AI does not run into me. Or them into or I into them. Oh. It's been a while since I've seen an ambulance on the road. I 
Hello, folks. Come chat with me. How you doing? Nice to see the different cars with the AI traffic mod by Jazzy Cat. Definitely download that if you haven't. If you're into modding, I definitely recommend that. Okay, that's Carlsbad. I probably won't, fortunately, won't be able to pick up that undiscoverable unless it pops up on the screen. I'm not sure if it's going to. Usually, you have to go into the city to pick up that city before um, it'll let you say it's discovered. And looks like unfortunately it's not going to do that for me because I'm not in the city. So sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. You just have to grab it at another time. See with the heavy cargo it's hard to get all the tight squeezed um, discoverables. So I just get what I can on the way. Coming up on less than an hour until we reach our destination. Okay. And then we'll see how it, which parking spot they want me to park this heavy cargo. And again, they do have the park it, um, the hard option grayed out. I'm assuming due to the lengths of the heavy cargo. But in ES, um, in ETS 2, it allows you to park heavy cargo. But ATS, I haven't seen the option where it allows you to park heavy cargo in the hardest option. Um, it only has the mid-tier option when they give you an easy way to park. And I'm assuming it's because of the length of the cargo, which is pretty long. If I do say so myself, see? And it's tall too. So I can imagine why they wouldn't allow um, us to let us park it as a hard option because it's just too many articulation points and it's not going to work. It really isn't. All right, less than 20 minutes coming up. Eggs is coming up, so I'll take it off cruise control by pressing down the brake. All right, and let the people behind me know that I'm indicating here. And again, when you're doing heavy cargo and you're doing turns, try to get at the, especially when the left turn, get at your rightmost. Forget that there's the AI behind you. You need to make your turn. Check for traffic. I can't. Okay, so. Okay, thankfully there. Then you have to pull up wider than you normally would and then make the turn. Because look, your cargo is lagging behind. That's the unfortunate part about the cargo is that you have to make a wide enough turn so that your cargo does not get stuck back there. Ooh, San Diego discovered. Cool. And we're in the city limit, so the MPH is low. So yeah, always make a conscious effort to pull up as far as you can before you turn the wheel. And then you, it should make it okay. So depending if you're turning left or right is where you have to be as far as making sure that your cargo can make the um, clearance. So up here, as you can see on my GPS, we're about to make a right turn. So what I usually do is take up, go near the middle. Of course, if there's no traffic there and then pull up, make the turn. Thankfully, there's no AI here, and then you'll see the clearance. Almost, see, I almost hit the traffic light post. And, yeah, you gotta, here's another turn, I'll do that again. 
get on your right most as far as you can to the right and then pull up more than you should and then turn your wheel See, thankfully there's no car there, but even if there was a car, I clearly cleared it. So, ooh, discovered a recruitment agency. We'll need that for hiring. So yeah, that is something you have to look out for when uh, making turns with heavy cargo. Or else you're just not going to make it. There's nowhere you're going to make that clearance. Alright, our destination is coming up pretty soon. Gotta wait for the light to turn green. So yeah, I have to say this DLC is it's worth the money. Thankfully, I was able to get it at a discount, and you can too. Again, what you have to do, um, go to Steam. If you already have the other bundle, just go ahead, limo. If you already have the other DL heavy cargo DLCs from the uh, ETS two. SES has the Cargo Addict Bundle, where if you have two out of the three, it'll give you another discount to get the ATS Heavy Cargo DLC. So, and it'll come down even cheaper than buying it separately. So keep that in mind. Uh, oh good, no AI. So I can take a wider turn. And I'll need to because... Aha, uh -huh. good clearance there. There's a Peterbilt that's about to get discovered. How you doing? I'm driving one. A little company that gave it to me. It's not my Peterbilt, but yeah. Alright, almost at our destination. Ooh, I hope that doesn't hit anybody. Okay, good. Okay. Uh oh, is it stuck? Uh oh, I went a little bit too close. So let me pull up like this. Alright, I'm good to go. That was close. Okay, so our destination drop-off point is up here. And again, I'll show you what comes up when the parking options come up. You'll see the hardest part, the hardest option is grayed out. And for good reason. It's kind of hard to park these. Okay. I definitely have to get that camera mod so it'll be easier to see around the truck. Uh-oh. Ooh. Not wide enough. I'll have to back up. Oh, please do not tip over. That's the last thing I need. Okay, so let me do this. See, I didn't even catch that tail end. That's tragic. <laughs> All right, now I have to go into here. Thankfully, there's no traffic. So I gotta do a wider turn than normal. Oh, geez, where? Okay. All right, see, now you're about to see the parking options. You'll see the hardest one is grayed out. See, the I can do anything option, grayed out. It won't let you do it on ATS. So it's the where should I place it. Now, the where should I place it with normal cargo is usually easy. But not with heavy cargo. You have to make sure that first you have to go or make sure you do this big loop de loop and then you have to pull into the. Because you got to make sure the cargo clears it. And then you pull up to that, which is going to be difficult. I don't know. So I'm going. Okay, so I went too. I turned too late. Oh, am I still not? Am I still too close? Oh no, I didn't go wide enough, see? So, let's try that again. 
did not go wide enough. Okay, so. See, it's not as easy as you think. See, this is going to take a, this might take a couple tries. This is not easy at all. Ooh, yeah. I knew I wasn't going to get that. See, look how far away I am. From it to go, ding. So, what I'm going to do... Oops. I'm going to try something. Probably won't work, but I got to get that point there a little bit straighter so I can back up a little bit. It's probably not going to let me do it like I want to do it. See? doubt it's going to let me do it. Oh, see that? That there is going to mess me up. Yep, and it's still not good enough. Yeah, see? That is not going to... Oh, oops. It's one of those things with the tight turns. It's not going to go the way you planned. And you see how it's not even going back? Because of the that point in the middle right there. It's not going the way I want it to go. So I have to straighten it out and then push. No, 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 no. I don't need you to go that way. Okay. Let's see if I'll do it this way. All right, so I'm straightening it out as much as I can. See, this middle part is what I don't want to... Okay, let's try like this. Okay, it's going well so far. Nope, I need that part straight. Gotta have that part behind the truck straight, or else it's not going to work. Let's see if it'll let me get it as close as I can. See if he'll let me do it. Probably won't, but let's give it a try. Come on, come on, come on, get in there, get in there. Oh crap, I turned too late. Did I accidentally turn? Oh. <laughs> okay. Turned too late, so let's... Oh, crap. What is... What was that? Okay, it's only damaged to my trailer. Oh, I'm too close. Green, 
green, green. No, no green? Oh, come on. Oh no, the tail end isn't in. That sucks. Okay. This is the problem I had last time. The tail end refused to go in. And that's what caught me up last time. So. Let's see what it'll let me do. Okay, this is the angle I'm looking for. saw the green wait a minute stop oh gosh it's a little point there yes there we go whoo got it see that's harder than it's supposed to be most definitely all right leveled up uh i'll do high value Apply, save, okay so that's it with American Truck Simulator Heavy Haul DLC. I did it without mods, just the vanilla version and I did it with the Viva uh, Mexico mod and I tried it with the Coast to Coast and Canadian Dream mod. That didn't go too well, it kept crashing. And then I switched to just the, I think it's just the American mod. Um, just the regular pro map version. So, show you different um, aspects of how it driven in Mexico and in America. Fortunately, we couldn't do the other coast or Canada. And I have to say, it's definitely worth the money to get this heavy haul DLC. There's little tips and tricks and maneuvering that you have to do with this heavy haul. But I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. I'll see you next time. And happy trucking, everyone. Goodbye now. Bye.